Hey guys, it's Mikey Chen. We all know that war is sometimes inevitable. That's why military spending is the number one expense for most countries around the world. Every nation wants to have the best weapons, the most modern technology, and the best trained soldiers. These brave warriors, although well trained, are ultimately the same as the rest of us, humans with limited strength, agility, and intelligence. But what if there was a way to turn these normal humans into super soldiers with abnormal abilities? So basically a real life Captain America. And as technology becomes more and more advanced, so is the possibility of this actually happening. In this video, we're gonna cover several ways in which science is trying to build real life super soldiers. Number one on our list is a DARPA funded effort called the Warrior Web. DARPA is an agency in the US government responsible for military technology. The Warrior Web project has the goal of creating an exoskeleton suit that soldiers can wear under their uniforms in order to increase their speed and let them walk, run, or climb with ease. It consists of straps, leg braces, and a motor that can sense when the soldier is moving. The exoskeleton speed can be controlled by a computer that is attached to the soldier's backpack. It can sense movement and buff the soldier's speed and agility. It's almost like a light wind is pushing the soldier from the back. Having the suit will help the soldiers in battle by preventing them from getting tired easily or running out of energy. It's a breakthrough in bionics that may lead to bigger and better exoskeletons in the near future. Although Exobionics, the company that is working on this suit for DARPA, is experimenting on this exoskeleton for soldiers, it also creates suits for patients that have been paralyzed, injured, or stroke impaired. In in other words, it's not only helping soldiers out, but also providing the opportunity for some people to be able to walk again. Next, we're moving on to drugs. Recently, it was reported that a drug called Captagon has been used by many soldiers to enhance their awareness. Captagon will affect alertness, increase concentration and performance, and make people feel no fear. This drug was used for medical purposes in the 1960s in order to treat narcolepsy and depression, but was banned because of its many negative effects. But now people are remaking the drug and feeding it to soldiers in order for them to stay awake for days without feeling tired. Another is a cardiac drug called meldonium that is being used by Soviet troops. This drug can give soldiers more oxygen carrying capacity and more endurance, allowing the soldiers to climb mountain ranges and travel on the ground with less struggle. Number three, nano implants. Ray Kurzweil, an inventor who works on Google's machine learning project, says these tiny robotic implants implants in the human brain can connect us to a computer and basically give us unlimited knowledge. This expansion of knowledge will make soldiers godlike, boosting their intelligence levels and giving them access to an information center at all times. Nicholas Negroponte, founder of MIT Media Lab, says the best way to interact with the brain is from the inside. If you inject robots into the bloodstream, they can get close to the cells, nerves, and the brain. He says that you can load information into your bloodstream via the nanobots in order to give you any type of information you want, such as an entire language. So kind of like Chuck in the intersect, and yeah, that I know Kung Fu guy. Number four, computer chips. The US government is working on an implantable chip that connects soldiers' brains directly to computers. The new interface for the chip has the goal of improving brain neural interaction millions at a time. The chip is supposed to be around one cubic centimeter and can improve hearing, vision, and intelligence. This is done by giving the brain auditory and visual information. If this works, it would be a huge breakthrough for soldiers who would be capable of enhanced hearing and sight. Number five, stopping bleeding and pain. We all feel pain and we all bleed, which is kind of an inconvenience when you're a soldier. So the government is trying to get rid of these pesky things. DARPA has hired a technology firm to create a vaccine that would supposedly allow the soldier to feel no pain 10 to 30 seconds after being wounded for up to 30 days. Another solution research are coming up with is to put the soldier into hibernation, kind of like a bear, whenever he or she is wounded. That way the soldier can wait for help to arrive without dying of excessive blood loss. And this last one may really shock you. Researchers in China have already genetically modified human embryos for the second time. This time, a group of researchers from Guangzhou Medical University added a mutation to the embryos in order to make them resistant to HIV. The experiment was only partially successful and the embryos used 
were ones that were unable to grow into human adults. But this experiment did tell researchers that if they were able to genetically modify humans successfully, they could make any kind of super soldier they wanted. One that was resistant to all drugs, diseases, wounds, etc. This soldier could literally be unkillable. I guess it's inevitable, right? I mean, it sucks that the world we live in, uh, one which we are all human beings living on this planet, and most of the money governments collect from us goes towards the military, we're finding ways we can all better kill each other. And now we're basically playing God in order to create better weapons. Because if you think about it, let's say there is a microchip that can make someone stronger and faster and smarter than what's stopping everyday people from wanting it too. So then what, maybe this technology gets leaked onto the black market and criminals and organized crime or drug dealers or anybody could get their hands on them and then the police will need it to combat those guys. And next thing you know, we're all getting these bionic upgrades. So maybe then people will just become less and less human until one day we realize that we are the ones that made us extinct voluntarily. Or maybe I'm just thinking too much. And let me know if you were in a situation where there's an experimental drug or some kind of implant that could potentially make you faster, stronger, make you super, would you partake in it? Thanks for watching everybody. See you.